You a clout chaser. That's all you are. You're looking for attention. You're trying to live a life that, that you didn't grow up in. You're not that, Ryan. Okay? You a boxer. Stick to that. After Ryan Garcia took it to Twitter with his racist comments, consequences are still kicking him in the face. You a clout chaser. That's all you are. You looking for attention. You trying to live a life. That, that you didn't grow up and you're not that Ryan, okay, you're a boxer, stick to that bro from being suspended for a year to being. And it seems that we might be witnessing the end of Garcia within the comments coming in from the boxing world Mike Tyson's are the most recent, and Mike isn't taking it easy on Garcia, it all started when a video surfaced on Twitter during a meeting hosted by Garcia himself his use of the racial slur quickly went viral drawing quick backlash many. Fans felt betrayed while others were simply shocked that such a prominent figure in the sport would make such a mistake Garcia who has millions of followers and a squeaky clean image was suddenly at the center of a storm the public. Reaction was immediate, and intense social media platforms were flooded with comments condemning Garcia's actions. Prominent figures from various sports and entertainment fields voiced their opinions from like Oscar De La Hoya, the Haynes, and even the WBC itself, calling for accountability and education. In between all this Mike Tyson, the former heavyweight champion known for his fierce demeanor both in and out of the ring, decided to share his thoughts Tyson never want to mince words spoke during a recent episode of his podcast Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. He didn't hold back delivering a scathing critique of Garcia's actions. Listen man, when you're in the public, I you got to be careful about what you say. Tyson began, Ryan's a young guy, but that doesn't excuse what he did. You can't just throw words like that around and expect people to forget this ain't the streets. This is real life and words have consequences. Tyson continued saying the young kid needs to understand the history behind that word. It's not just a word. It's a symbol of hate of pain. He needs to educate himself and really grasp the weight of what he said. You don't get a free pass because you're a boxer or because you're young. This is serious and he needs to treat it as such now. The controversy surrounding Ryan Garcia has been a significant topic in the boxing world recently. On Thursday, July 4, WBC President Mauricio Suleiman announced that Goria, a 25-year-old boxing sensation, would no longer be associated with the organization due to his recent racist and profane rant on X-Bases. The decision came after a video surfaced where Garcia made deeply offensive comments, including racial slurs and disturbing remarks about George Floyd, the deceased victim of police brutality. Mauricio Suleiman took to social media to express his concern over Garcia's behavior and the potential underlying issues contributing to it. He voiced his fears for Garcia's mental health and suggested that substance abuse might be a factor in a follow-up text. Suleiman elaborated on his concerns emphasizing the urgent need for intervention to safeguard Garcia's well-being. I am worried for his life and it's extremely urgent for someone to take the proper actions. Suleiman stated this remark highlights the severity of the situation and the WBC's stance on maintaining integrity and respect within the sport. Buddy, I'm just here to show you I didn't miss a beat. Watch this. Jack first. Garcia's rant was filled with inflammatory language and hateful comments directed at black people. He shockingly declared, I hate and I'm anti-black. I'm the triple KKK. Hey, let's go bring George Floyd back to life and go kill that and again. Such statements are not only deeply offensive, but also indicative of a profound disrespect for the gravity of historical and ongoing racial issues. However, this incident is not isolated. It fits into a broader pattern of erratic and troubling behavior from Garcia leading up to his fight with Devin Haney in April. Garcia's social media activity was erratic and alarming fans, and analysts were unsure if Garcia's behavior was an attempt to troll or if it indicated deeper mental health struggles. His conduct during this period raised questions about his readiness and stability. I wanted to really battle the case or prove their innocence, really. So it's a year. It's really not that long a time. My worry more is what happens during that year for Devin. But Devin still has to put up with the ghosts of that night and going through that beating against the man that had performance enhancing drugs in his system. Garcia's unprofessionalism extended to the physical aspects of his preparation. As well, he missed weight for the Haney fight, leading to criticism and doubts about his commitment and focus. However, Garcia managed to silence some critics by winning the fight by a unanimous decision knocking down Haney twice, yet this victory was short-lived, as Garcia tested positive for Bane substances leading to the bout being declared a no contest. The New York State Athletic Commission suspended Garcia from boxing for a year, further tarnishing his reputation that's great for Devin, but Devin still has to put up with the ghosts of that night and going through that beating against the man that had performance-enhancing drugs in his system, adding to his troubles, Garcia was arrested in June on suspicion of vandalism at the Beverly Hills Waldorf Victoria Hotel. This incident, coupled with his previous actions, paints a picture of a young athlete spiraling out of control. 
His lack of remorse following the racist rant only exacerbated the situation. Instead of showing contrition, Garcia took to social media to challenge his critics, inviting them to come and try him. In the wake of the controversy, Garcia's parents issued a public statement condemning their son's words. They distanced themselves from his views and highlighted his ongoing struggles with mental health. This statement, while necessary, further complicated the complexity of Garcia's situation and the need for a comprehensive approach to address his issues. The public outcry has been swift and severe. Prominent figures from various fields have expressed their disappointment and condemnation of Garcia's behavior. Former Dallas Cowboy star Dizzy Bryant was among those who commented on social media reflecting the widespread disapproval of Garcia's actions. It didn't stop with Dizzy Bryant. Former boxer Aishi Smith did not mince words in his criticism of Garcia Smith's comments, showed a sentiment of frustration and disappointment shared by many in the boxing community. Former super middleweight champion Caleb Plant also voiced his disapproval, underscoring the need for accountability and respect within the sport. Currently, Ryan Garcia wants a rising star in the boxing world, finds himself entangled in a web of controversy and public scrutiny following his recent use of racial slurs on social media. This incident has not only marred his reputation, but has also led to scientific, personal, and professional consequences. The 25-year-old boxer's apology and subsequent actions to seek help underscore a tumultuous period in his life marked by erratic behavior and troubling decisions on a somber Friday. Ryan Garcia addressed the public with a heartfelt apology aimed at the communities he offended first and foremost. I want to apologize to the black community. I apologize to the Muslim community, basically for my language and my vocabulary, Garcia expressed with a little joke in it. He acknowledged the gravity of his actions, emphasizing that there was no excuse for his behavior regardless of the circumstances. Garcia admitted to being under the influence at the time and recognized his responsibility as a public figure. I obviously have a big responsibility as a famous athlete and I was very under the influence and I'm going through a lot, but I have no excuse. Garcia's announcement that he is seeking help was a significant step forward. I just want to be a positive influence now. I'm headed to rehab and I'm going to make a real change in my heart like I said all I can do is be better. He declared indicating a desire to transform his life and rectify his mistakes. His return to Twitter spaces where he reiterated his apology showed a genuine effort to make amends, though the conversation briefly veered off track before moderators intervened. This don't surprise me that Ryan Garcia is talking about that he's retired and he's not going to stand up for his faith in 48 hours. Everybody's been protected. After Ryan Garcia took it to Twitter with his racist comments, consequences are still kicking him in the face. You a clout chaser. That's all you are. You looking for attention. You trying to live a life that that you didn't grow up and you're not that Ryan. Okay, you're a boxer. Stick to that bro from being suspended for a year to being. And it seems that we might be witnessing the end of Garcia within the comments coming in from the boxing world. Mike Tyson's are the most recent, and Mike isn't taking it easy on Garcia. It all started when a video surfaced on Twitter during a meeting hosted by Garcia himself. His use of the racial slur quickly went viral drawing quick backlash. Many fans felt betrayed while others were simply shocked that such a prominent figure in the sport would make such a mistake. Garcia, who has millions of followers and a squeaky clean image.